Good day, peeps. Welcome to episode 41 of the Derby Way, also season 4. We begin life in the championship. Now, this episode might be quite managerial focused, um, but I'm going to try and cut as much of it out as I possibly can. But so we'll jump straight into it. Um, first of all, uh, a couple of targets I'm scouting. Uh, Leonardo Lasagna, uh, he's a centre back. Um, Karamanos and Ben Collins. I'm just scouting them. I'm going to see if they actually could give us anything in the first team or even the reserves. Now, as for transfer listed, I've allowed myself to have five players that I do not want to leave. Those five players are Romano, Jamie Jackson, Abeledo, Connor Thomas, and Ed Allen. Now, I just they're the five players I don't want to receive any bids for them they're the five players going forward that I want to keep now as for the rest of the players the ones that have been transfer listed Andrew Bowen he is surplus to requirements so uh, he's on the transfer list as is Barry Rafferty Freddie Martins had a brilliant end to season three but he has no potential and uh, I'm pretty sure we could get better midfielders in uh, as with Niasi, uh, both of those were signed beginning of the last season on uh, a free. So I figure, you know what, we'll make a little bit of money off of them. Now, Sean Morgan, he's up for loan, uh, as is Jordan Shaw, and Oscar Evans, Sean Davis, Carson Sullivan, Harrison Harris, Xander Mercier, Fonte, Carlson. And matey now Carson I've already got on the loan list to try and um, potential glitch him but uh, Fontana as a player I sort of won't mind keeping around the club but he needs game time I don't want him getting unhappy so he's on the loan list as for the rest they are available for a loan for as long as they need to be really and hopefully any of these uh, four players are transfer listed if offers come in that are decent I uh, shall get rid of them so with a new season comes new objectives on the board. They want us to get to the round of 32 stage. Uh, they want us to accomplish a mid-table finish in the uh, championship and uh, grow two youth academy players by at least 10 overall. Uh, I think that can be done. Um, as for youth development, which is critical, which it has been for a long time now, uh, we've got to sign two players with a potential of 75 or over. Um, not over 75 as it's put there. And increase the overall by at least 10. And what's the other one? Uh, we're, that's the one we saw on the objectives overview. Brand exposure. Uh, we didn't manage the shirt sales. So that might change. And uh, long term. Well we still got to do that. The financial. We've got to increase the club worth by 50%. We're still working on that. Uh, the domestic success we've seen in the overview and obviously we have no continental success objectives as of yet. Now, also, new season means that we have got player contracts expiring. Eight, to be precise, all of which are ones I want to increase. Ed Allen, Abeledo, uh, Jamie Jackson, very key parts to the squad. So I'm going to go through it, I'm going to give them uh, all a new contract and uh, hopefully... Um, come out with some decent results from it I'll see you on the other side well you join me back and uh, it was a success for the most part but uh, one glitch that I've seen a few times in uh, FIFA career mode uh, as you see Magnus Carlsen you saw um, that he was uh, one of the players among the eight that uh, needed a new contract I have literally just got to him and I click on him, I go to contract negotiation, and apparently I've recently negotiated a new contract with this player. I don't know how, and I definitely haven't. Um, hopefully that's not going to come around and bite us on the arse. I'm hoping come January, which I've seen it happen before, or towards the end of the season, we'll all be able to negotiate with him again. Uh, that would be fucking fantastic, because I don't want him to go nowhere. If he does, we shall try and sign him straight back in the next season. Well, first point of business, Pereira has uh, attracted the attention of uh, Palamo. And, uh, well, they're offering 5.2. He's worth 4.9, but they reckon we could get 8.1. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and delegate this out. 
and uh, see if we if we can get that eight million then uh, he's done us a great service bless you he's done us a great service but uh, yeah he can uh, he can go so let's just delegate this real quickly uh, we'll start it at the 8.1 but I will not settle for anything less than seven and a half so here we are pre-season tournaments and uh, we're in the European International Cup again uh, we win 3-0 here Jackson, Abeledo and Santana Abreu on the score sheet and Niemi was, well he's picked up an injury that could uh, be a, a slight issue well Niemi's injury wasn't too bad he will only be out for two weeks so at least we won't miss him for the start of the season and we have received a loan offer for Sean Morgan to go to Barnet for a year well he's on the loan list for a reason and so this will be accepted Preston have come in with an offer for Andrew Bowen of 1.2 million let's go and have a quick look at this uh, that is more than his valuation um, we're not going to get much more than that so that will be accepted second game of the European International Cup saw us against the young boys and uh, Ed Allen and Pereira were on the score sheet for the Rams and in a 2-1 victory so Sean Morgan has accepted a loan move to Barnet um, he will be spending the next year there Andrew Barron, thank you for your service in the last couple of seasons, but he has agreed terms with Preston. I wish him all the best. And very quickly, while I still think about it, because uh, I accidentally pressed square to delete it, uh, transfer talks broke down between Palomo and um, Pereira. They did not want to pay more than 5.2 million, which I would have been uh, quite angry at. Well, final game in the group stage of the European International Cup saw us with a home tie, if you like. Um, Santana Abreu got a hat-trick and uh, Marcus White came on and scored a goal in a 4-0 demolition of them. Well, semi-finals of the European International Cup and uh, we go through to the final with a 2-1 victory. Um, Jamie Jackson and Rob Jacobs with the goals for the Rams. So the Rams are victorious and win the European International Cup with a 2-1 victory. Um, and Tyler Hill with both goals for the Rams. That's uh, quite impressive. Santana Abreu did miss a penalty, but that's not uncommon in simulations. But yeah, we, we won the uh, International Cup again. So the scouts have done their job and they have scouted the three players that were on my uh, radar Ben Collins is a 70 overall centre defensive mid um, I'm going to sign him in for definite uh, as for Karamanos and Lasagna I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with either of those as of yet um, if there's anyone it will probably be uh, Lasagna just for the centre back positioning we don't have that many but right now Ben Collins where is he there he is I'm now going to offer him a contract I'll see you when we've signed him so here is Ben Collins a 70 rated overall player with no potential which I find quite hard to believe to be honest with you uh, that's a little bit disappointing and uh, also when you look at his one star skill moves and his two star weak foot um, Collins might be around for only a season. Monthly scouting update time. And uh, what have we got from the Ivory Coast? Uh, well, that's quite disappointing. Absolutely no one there. Um, yeah, I'm going to reject all of these. Chile up next. And, uh, well, have we got anything here? Oh, hello. Hernan Mansilla. Well, I think we're going to sign him in. He looks pretty decent. He's only 15, which is a shame, but uh, we'll get him in. As for the rest, I'll quickly double check. Uh, yeah, they'll all be rejected, but Hernan, he will come into the Youth Academy. Now, finally, from England, Ed Edwards is back, uh, but uh, he is no good. Um, and neither are any of them. Morgan Thomas, is he Connor's brother? well uh, 71 to 94 we'll keep an eye on him but the other three we will reject Millwall have come in with a transfer offer for Aidan Roberts uh, just over a million let me just have a look at this I'm sure he's only on the loan list yeah he's only on the loan list he's not 
for transfer. I'm sorry, Millwall, but uh, that's going to have to be a reject. Here we go. Transfer offer now for Barry Rafferty, a player on the transfer list. Exeter City are interested in signing him for nearly three quarters of a million. Um, I think we're going to snap their hands off on that. Thank you. Blackburn have come in with an offer to take Sam Carter on a one-year loan. Um, do you know what? I really don't know how I feel about this. Um, he's been quite solid for the reserves. Uh, da -da -da -da. But will he get much game time in the championship? Uh, he might not. So we're going to accept it. It's the first of the month. It's youth squad update time. And Cabrera here. He's a 76 to 94. Mansilla, well, he's only just come in. He's a 71 to 91. Geronimo, 73 to 93. Mensah, 78 to 94. Diaby, 72 to 86. Avaledo, 83 to 94. He looks like he could be quite a good player going forward. And unfortunately, Maldonado, he has uh, dropped significantly in potential, so we're going to release him. And that is the youth squad at the moment. Well, we look at that. Sam Carter's loan move has been uh, rejected. And Barry Rafferty will not be going to Exeter because they couldn't reach terms. Ah, the joys of FIFA career mode. Always the players that aren't on the transfer list, isn't it? Newcastle have come in for a, with a bid of 1.3 million for Riley McDonald. Uh, is that even anywhere close to his... That's below his valuation. He's just signed a new contract. Are you on glue, Newcastle? Uh, that is a reject. Sean Davis is wanted by Luton for a one-year loan deal. I believe he is also on the loan list, so we shall uh, go ahead and accept that. <laughs> In true career mode fashion, as we've already seen once, Sean Davis has rejected the loan move to Luton. Well, your friend Garfield here doesn't know how to press record, apparently. I just did the whole Norwich City game. Um, pretty pumped about it, and I, uh, I've got everything written down. And guess what I didn't do? I didn't press record. Oh, the joys. Um, I'll quickly give you a rundown it was a very very impressive performance from the boys uh, Norwich pressured us very early on for the first uh, 15 minutes of the game we just were on the back foot I don't think we got out of our half however you can see the scoreline there we won 3-0 Ed Allen with the first Santana Abreu with uh, them him and Allen just up front is going to be absolutely amazing um, and then Pereira uh, so three regular goal scorers uh, all amongst the goals I'm really sorry that I lost all the, uh, the f well I say lost the footage I didn't lose it I just didn't press fucking record did I so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to throw this Port Vale game in and the Carabao Cup and we're going to play that and uh, yeah we're going to give the reserves a roll out and then uh, yeah we can hopefully I've pressed record this time so alright we're not going to fuck up again so here we go I've definitely pressed record this time <laughs> and uh, we're in Carabao Cup action now I uh, will get to see some highlights that's for certain we're against Port Vale let's see how the reserves fare in this game so here is Port Vale's uh, team and lineup against us um, for a very very 4-4-2 that isn't it and so here is the Derby team. As you will see, there's a couple of new names in the reserve teams. Mason starts as our goalkeeper. You've got Jacobs, Niemi, Lee and Watson at the back. Uh, Roberts will play centre attack in mid. Ben Collins gets his debut. Um, Magnus Car alongside Magnus Carson in the centre midfield. Paltola and Alexander play just behind Big Sam Carter. Whew. Let's get into this. Come on, Derby. Let's see what we got. And Carson. Lovely bit of build-up play. Peltola. Here's Roberts. Bad touch. Uh, bad couple of touches. Peltola gets it through. And fucking Big Sam. Big Sam has scored. Oh my god. Well, he had a crack in uh, a few cup competitions back in League One. He did well in the Carabao. He did well in the Checker Trade. And he is continuing it now. Um, 
once again lovely pass from Peltola just sees Sam slip his man and uh, well he won't miss from there he will not miss from there 1-0 to the Rams and it's big Sam go on son is it here's Carlson across it will go to Rob and Rob Jacobs over here and has a little charge through the midfield plays it up Roberts takes the shot the keeper and he just manages to get his hand to it oh we don't need to be concerned about that right now just before half time and uh, Vale are in here takes the shot thankfully it is such a terrible shot that it goes so far over the bar it is half time it's 1-0 big Sam with the goal um, pretty average performance Mason has not even been tested once in the derby goal yet see how we fare in the second half so off we kick the second half the quarter back to Alexander and up to Watson Alexander Roberts caught it oh my god Sam is amazing what a bit of play second goal already weak foot finessed into the top of the net oh, an absolutely fantastic goal Lantern Port Vale goal didn't stand a chance there he did that stupid little jump before uh, trying to dive for it we know it's a goal when that happens Big Sam gets his second oh, that's lovely Carter Roberts it's absolutely beautiful Peltola is there turns his man tries to get the shot off uh, he should have probably just uh, whipped that in as quickly as he could Carlson back to Jacobs Carter's there and uh, over the bar it goes here is Evans into Lupu Peltola into Carter that is an absolutely fantastic ball knocks it across Evans is there and the big American unit will get the third what a little bit of play Peltola unselfish with the pass lovely pass from Carter though straight through the defence little dink in and uh, Evans could not miss hopefully that will be just enough confidence boost for the lad he's just replaced Max Alexander to be honest I think that is actually genuinely his first touch of the ball but uh, there it is Lucas Evans 3-0 Watson's there oh, passed the other side of him Lee will get there Watson just sort of intercepts his uh, own man's uh, pass Lupu what a pass that is here is Peltola oh he turns two defenders takes a shot gets the fourth we have turned this into some show and uh, that is number four and Peltola after such a shaky start early on in his career he's really come alive now what a good goal that was turned two defenders with that bit of skill and uh, well places that shot into the top corner no power on him 4-0 oh well in by Watson Evans Lupu oh it's another great pass can Peltola get there he can takes another shot oh this is going to be a record breaking game already bloody hell absolutely fantastic back pass there from Lupu and how Peltola goes and gets his second quick snap double from Peltola 5-0 I don't think we've actually beaten anyone more than 4-0 in this series so this is a first the reserves have really something's just clicked with the reserves I don't know what it is but uh, whatever it is it's working 5-0 Carter here is Carlson waits for the run from Watson gets it Watson does well turns his man that's a cross in Peltola's at the back post and Peltola gets a hat trick oh my goodness Peltola where was this Peltola early stages used to go missing in matches not no more what a great header that was from quite an impossible angle too we have just ran rampant over over Port Vale here 
a hat trick for Peltola. It is 6 0. In comes Collins. There's had a solid game as Collins. That is full time. We have recorded our biggest win of the series. 6 0. 6 0. Peltola's hat trick. Just, wow. What a way to end the game, Peltola. That was fantastic. Um, I don't think this is going to happen too many times, guys. This this is going to be very much a one-off, I think. Just completely dominated Port Vale from start to finish there. A brace for Carter. First goal for Evans and a hat-trick for Mika Peltola. 6-0. Well, that will wrap episode 41 up, I think. I feel, I'm sure. Um We've got a bit of the uh, managerial stuff out of the way. We did have the match against Norwich that uh, Dickhead here didn't press record on. Um, that was a very convincing win. But then that match that you have just seen against Port Vale, like I said in the end of that match, don't think we're going to see too many of those. It was one of those matches. I don't even think Port Vale had... Well, they may have had a couple of chances. That was it. They, they offered nothing. It was like they just rolled over and surrendered to us. But there's no point looking at the league table there's only been one league match played um so we'll have a look at some very important dates uh, for me as a derby fan and for the boys because they play for the rams the 21st of october we are away at nottingham forest Ugh, dirty reds um that that there is going to be a very very big match and then i think we'll find it where do we play them at home? The 20th of March. We play them at home. So they're the only two matches that I personally own, really want to see us win. Hopefully we can... I mean, going off the first two matches that I've just played, whether it's just ha me today, I don't know. But we could dominate this league with uh, with the players that we've got. I don't think we need any more additions either, to be fair. Um... Uh, but yeah, that, that I think will wrap episode 41 up. Uh, just quickly jump this calendar back to August. Uh, we've got... Um, well, we've still got uh, five games left in August uh, before we get to the transfer deadline day. So yeah, next episode we will see Middlesbrough, Leeds and Reading. Um, I think we will... We will play the Middlesbrough game with the first team. We'll play the Leeds game with the reserves. And we'll simulate the Reading game. That's where I think we're going to go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that will end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Garfield. If you liked this episode, please hit like. If you really liked it, smash subscribe. And until next time, friends. Toodles.